So apparently, the habla habla habla. I don't know how to fucking speak. Apparently, the original Mickey Mouse has been granted public domain. People can use it for their own product. My nip is slipping. Got a little bit feisty. Anybody that wants to can have Mickey Mouse and use him for video games and movies, etc. And people were instantly on it the day it happened. And there's a game apparently that's dropping that has Mickey Mouse. And then there's also a movie that has been teased that is also doing it. I assume these are both gonna be bad because we've seen Winnie the Pooh when the, what happened with him, you know, they made a Winnie the Pooh blood and honey. I never saw it, but I know it was bad. Uh, they also did it with the Grinch. They did the Grinch movie that's like evil. I never watched either of them. I still kind of want to. And if they wanted me to be a part of them, I will do it. I will get killed by Winnie the Pooh. You know, I'm just I'm just saying from what I've seen from critics that they were bad, okay? But with that being said, I thought it'd be cool to check out this. This is Infestation Origins official reveal trailer. I guess this is a game inspired by Mickey Mouse or whatever the fuck. Hey there, thanks for coming out. We've got a bit of an infestation here at the storage facility. Find the source. We thought it was just rodents, but there's something else in here. There's a goddamn rat. everywhere it'd be oh i guess they can't do it with disneyland because they don't have that but exterminators are our last hope please help us before it doesn't look that bad it looks kind of interesting I mean, I don't know what type of game it's gonna be. It looks violent, interesting. Mickey Mouse, he's back. People like it. 17,000 likes, 4,500 dislikes, that's pretty good. In today's handoff to the five, it's Mickey Mouse like you've never seen him before. But first we wanna give you a little bit of context. Yesterday we told you about how the original version of Mickey Mouse, the one you see here, how that old debuted is in the Mickey 1928 Mouse? film oh. Steamboat Willie has entered the public domain. I'm a little late that. To that means that artists are free to use the iconic mouse however they that's like. That's crazy. And filmmakers are wasting no time. Wait, 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 wait. There's a movie trailer? I thought there was just a poster of the movie. What? Oh, I gotta check that out. I gotta check that out. What the fuck? There's a movie called Mickey Mouse Mousetrap. It's like probably a fairly low budget film considering how much films can cost. Oh, the dislike ratio looks bad. Is this the actual trailer? Okay. <laughs> Wow, they were working the on this for a while, probably. <laughs> I've seen some rejections in my time. This looks like some Five Nights at Freddy's show. There's blood all over the jungle gym. Blood. Yes. Angry Birds. Oh my god, they literally have the exact fucking- They're literally just using Mickey Mouse. Like, it's not even just a reference or a parody. That's kind of crazy. Oh my god. That's actually kind of sick. What the fuck? Yeah, he's like completely in love with me already. It's totally disgusting. This doesn't look as bad as- I feel like this looks better than the Winnie the Pooh one. Dude, what the fuck? Happy Earth. It's probably just a regular dude wearing a Mickey Mouse mask. Is like the vibe they're going for. Dead. That's like killing people. What? Like if he was in a horror movie, you never say, "I'll be right back." Oh my god, dude, that is so overdone. Them saying this line. Don't. Yeah, that's so overdone. Jeez. The mask is pretty cool. What are they at? Like Dave and Buster's or some shit? Where the hell did he go? Bruh. I feel like they could have made his fit a little bit like scarier or something. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. The mouse is out. I do like that.
I mean, the mask is good. Dude, it looks weird. Well, they're wearing the same thing, actually. So, yeah, he's, they're, they're all wearing the same outfit as him. He's wearing, like, some, like, hockey, like, jersey kind of thing. Weird. I'm glad they're just making everything into a low-budget scary movie. I do enjoy that. Wow, it's, it's just a weird time we're living in, you know? Uh, I'm, I, I, I'd probably watch it. I still want to watch the Winnie the Pooh one. I know they're making, like, a second one of that, too. I give them props for, like, making this instantly. Like, they were already ready. That's crazy as fuck. Like, that's actually really cool. Not the Dave and Buster's. Is that what it is? It looks like Dave and Buster's. Fit is mid. Yeah, I kind of agree. The fit is mid, but the um the mask is cool. That was a snippet of the trailer for the upcoming horror comedy film, Mickey's Mouse I should have been in this movie. The movie turns I'm waiting for a horror movie to have me in it. Let me have my Addison Ray mo moment where I get to be in a scary movie. Is at a 3% rating. The Winnie the Pooh movie that they did has a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. This came out last year. 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. What is happening? Dude, this is insane. I feel like we need to go down the rabbit hole of all these movies real quick, okay? They're making a second one, I think, right? I think they're making a second one of this. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. I mean, hopefully they do it better because I feel like the idea is cool. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. You know, you're the first I should watch this. Why am I so special? Because soon we'll be Christopher and Mary Robin. We should be British. Now. We're not going to find them. We will. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore. Eeyore. For many years, and they're out there. It seems like they're friends with these characters, Christopher, but we need to leave. They definitely changed. Now. I really need to find out what's happened here. Okay. I think honestly, the other one, the other trailer with Mickey Mouse looks better when he's up to the mask are good as fuck though the company that makes the mask for these like uh, for this film are really good though this place is kind of cool um did you say it has a pool it has a pool we need to go there's the flowers there get out this that means that you should so stay there Dude, that's that? fucked. <laughs> what is life? Dude, wait, which one was that? Who's that? Is that, um, which one is like, that's like a boar, right? Piglet, that's Piglet? What the fuck happened to Piglet? We used to be friends. Why are you doing this, please? Oh, so they were friends. When did the poo change? What the fuck? That's... I mean, the, the name is good. Um... And there was the Grinch one. Let's look at the Grinch one. This one was played by, uh, what's his name? David Howard Thornton, who, like, he played Art the Clown in, uh, Terrifier. Remember that story about Cindy you know who? When her Christmas was stolen, I heard this one was also horrible. To do. Why, Santa Claus? Why? But what if I said that's not how it went down? Monster! You gonna be okay? Because we can turn around right now. No. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I feel like this one actually looks the worst. Is that like bad of me to say? I love David Howard Thornton. Like he's a great actor. Art the Clown is fantastic. But I'm just talking about this movie individually. It doesn't look so good. Oh, poor girl. Her mother was killed. Her mind snapped. Did you ever find the Christmas killer? Never got a reliable description of the man. Oh man. Dad? Oh no. The Grinch. Dad! Holy. He is out there. What if the Christmas killer is back? This town now he's cannot back for blood. go through another Christmas killer. The re the problem with them saying now he's back for blood is like cringe is because uh they said that for like the Winnie the Pooh one. It's like Winnie the Pooh, blood and honey. The Grinch, he's back for blood. Our thing, not again. Us folks down in Newville, we liked Christmas a lot. But that thing that lives just north of Newville does not. What is it? You know, the problem with these movies too, I feel like is, I mean, I can't fully say cause I haven't seen it, you know, it, but I feel like most likely you just probably won't care about the people that are surviving. You know what I mean? If anything, you're rooting for the bad people, which sometimes is cool, but you probably aren't like, oh, I want like the humans to actually live, you know? The mean one. He's slippery, he's 
Mr. Lucy. He's a mean one, that mister. I'm not going to be a victim anymore. It's also interesting. They don't... Yeah, this one doesn't call itself the Grinch. I don't think it has the access and the right to do that yet. But it calls themselves the mean one. Which is like, you know, because of the movie. He's a mean... Or the song. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Time to roast this beast. <laughs> Dead one, Mr. Yeah! Uh, oh boy. <laughs> you know, I, I like that they exist though. I haven't seen it. I do want to maybe give these my time and just uh see it. I mean, just because David's in it, I would watch it. And I just like scary I like I like cheesy movies too. I like practical effects, but do they actually look good? Probably not. Let me see. What does this one have on the reviews? Oh, this one got a better review than Winnie the Pooh. This one has 22%. That's actually a big difference in the three. And it also has an audience score around 50. So hopefully the Mickey Mouse one is the best one yet, you know? Hopefully these things like keep on coming. I kind of like them though. I mean, cringe. Yeah, but like, I think they're self-aware. They obviously don't take themselves too seriously, but they should maybe like take themselves a little more seriously or just like, I don't know. I'd have to watch them. Holy smokes. It's a weird time we're living in though. I'm interested. What's, what do you think is going to like happen next? Are we going to see Peppa Pig the movie and it's Peppa oh my god if they have a horror movie of Peppa Pig that would be horrifying that's terrifying fuck that your lipstick is color don't bother angel I know exactly what goes on